this should be expected, but as I've been saying for a while now, we're going to be seeing more and more leaks to come out uh, from Microsoft. And now there's a new one that came out. I'm not sure how much I believe this one in terms of the studios that Microsoft are supposedly going to acquire and announce at E3, but there are some interesting ones and ones that maybe I haven't heard before, and maybe you haven't heard before either. So I figure we can go ahead and check out an in-depth look. If it did happen, hey, I think that'd be cool. I definitely think we're in in store for some new studio acquisitions from Microsoft, and I'm looking forward to that as well. Uh, but hey, let's get started, shall we? What's up, everybody? Crap Gamer here with Crap Gamer Reviews, back with another video. Thank you guys for checking it out. I appreciate it. Please like, share, and subscribe because I would appreciate that as well. It helps out the channel, and it means a lot to me personally. Uh, so anyway, jumping right into this, which I will link, and you're going to have to uh, translate this. Uh, Microsoft will announce new game studios uh, at E3 including Relic Studios, IO Interactive Studio, Asobo Studios, and 22 Can Studio uh, will join Microsoft's four, uh, the four studios will join their uh, current list of 13. Uh, this, you know, sounds okay. I think the IO Interactive one has happened before. Uh, Relic Studios, I don't know. They uh, Heroes series Imperial Age 4 makes a little bit of sense. Uh, IO Interactive Studios, they've obviously done the... Um, you know, the, the Hitman series and stuff like that. Uh, there's also Asobo Studios, which they apparently did some, uh, the Plague Legend or Plague Tale Innocence uh, and developed for a little bit of some other things as well. Uh, you know what, I, I, like I said, I think this is one of those things that we're going to see a little bit more of, and this is kind of an obscure one, so I do find it a little bit um, odd. 22 Cans is, might be the one that makes it completely fake, considering that... Um, they haven't really done much. Peter Molyhew is the founder of that, which, as you guys know, he was also the founder of Lionhead Studios and or was the head of Lionhead Studios. And I just don't really see him as coming back to Microsoft or that studio. It doesn't really matter. Uh, it doesn't sa seem like something that would happen. Um, but, uh, you know, what? maybe it'd be a welcoming thing. Maybe he'll help. He could be some hired at Microsoft and help out with the next... Uh, fable game or something a little bit. I don't know. I just, for me personally, I just think that it's a little bit odd that um, you know we've seen so much uh, of these other leaks, but this one, like the iOS interactive one, makes the most sense to me because they do some episodic stuff, and I could see that being something that Microsoft latches onto going forward, just because they have Game Pass and they need some of that story-driven content. But I don't know. I will link this. Like I said, let me know what you think. How do you feel about these studios in particular? Sound off, rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Rack them up. Crap Gamer, out.